Hi, I'm Josh Fielstra with Native Instruments, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating some of the highly flexible programming features of Audio Control One. When it comes to audio interfaces, there are many options available to musicians and DJs, and in a previous video we saw some of the advanced signal routing capabilities that make Audio Control One unique for its class. Audio Control's programmability and hands-on control features, however, are what really set it apart. Let's see how. Here I have loaded Tractor LE, a light version of our Tractor 3 professional DJ software. I'm using Audio Control as the sound card, but perhaps more interestingly as the actual control surface. When I rotate the main knob, I'm controlling the overall volume of Tractor. But if I hold down the middle button and rotate the knob, I'm actually controlling the crossfader. That's because Audio Control lets you create combinations of controls. This allows you to automate a total of 10 different parameters from one simple panel. In this instance, the left button doesn't do anything on its own, but in tandem with the right button, it controls the track queuing for the left deck. I can do the same thing with the right deck if I hold down the right button and push the middle button at the same time. The best part is you can try all of this for yourself because Tractor LE is included with audio control. Now we use Tractor LE in this instance, but anything that can be automated, whether it's Tractor, a software synthesizer, or your favorite recording hosts can all be controlled via Audio Control One. You're also not limited to mere MIDI messages. Audio Control One can also send operating system key commands, things like Control Q or the down arrow key, for instance. This allows you to control things that might not have advanced MIDI support or even any MIDI support at all, like Winamp and iTunes. We've also loaded up Audio Control with all kinds of predefined templates to control Pro Audio software like Cubase, Pro Tools, Logic, and so forth, as well as consumer applications like Windows Media Player. But what if you want to make your own assignments from scratch? This is the mapping application, and here's where you can create your own assignments. Let's assign Audio Control's left button so that it advances patches in Reactor. Now, normally Reactor will change to the next patch when you press the down arrow key on the computer keyboard. So here's how we would mirror this functionality in Audio Control. It's as simple as clicking the graphic for the left button, choosing key from the event type dropdown, choosing the program we want to control, which in this instance is Reactor, and then pushing the down arrow key. Now when I switch back to Reactor, sure enough, pushing the left button changes patches. And that's all there is to it. The great thing is that if I want, I could actually have one event occur when I press the button down and a completely different event happen when I let go of the button. Flexibility is audio control one specialty. As we've seen, Audio Control One can be used to control just about any software function you can imagine. As an added benefit, Audio Control One also ships with the full versions of several award-winning Native Instruments products. Express Keyboards, which features three classic Native Instruments synthesizers, Guitar Combos, a light edition of Guitar Rig, and Tractor LE, if you want to try the DJ example we saw earlier for yourself.